The local Haitian community is providing various lifelines to survivors of the earthquake. The Haitian Foundation of New Jersey is among those planning fundraisers. And Luna Katie Genty is the foundation's president. Luna, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Right now, me. right now at this stage of the game, it's all about communication on so many levels when it yes. comes to this, uh, uh, the situation in Haiti. How is your organization helping to bridge the gap when it comes to the language barrier? Well, we, um, as a matter of fact, we are working on that with different organizations. Um, some of the people coming at the um, FODIX, mm -hmm. they ask for... Um, they do speak English, but they are in shock. Everybody is in shock. So they, we're providing um, volunteers around the clock. We're sending them there at um, shift, different shifts. Mm -hmm to translate and we giving full support to everybody that is coming here to see how we can support. And in song, singing Haiti's national anthem as Mayor Palmer and church leaders raise the Haitian flag to fly at Trenton City Hall throughout Black History Month. There will be a time when education, food, shelter, and other first needs will not be considered as a luxury for most Haitians. harder here because with the exception of India, you have more NGOs per capita <laughs> operating down there than anybody else. But nobody's got a list. Nobody really knows what's going on. A lot of the stuff is really good that's going on. But we need, just think what would happen if we all put our heads together and nobody overlapped anybody else and everybody had a copy of the development program, absorbed it, and said, this is what I'm doing against this. I want to speak directly to the people of Haiti. Few in the world have endured the hardships that you have known. Long before this tragedy, daily life itself was often a bitter struggle. And after suffering so much for so long, to face this new horror must cause some to look up and ask, have we somehow been forsaken? To the people of Haiti, we say clearly and with conviction, you will not be forsaken, you will not be forgotten. In this, your hour of greatest need, America stands with you, the world stands with you.